My name is Ashley Shin. I go to the Bishop School and I'm a senior. I lived in San Diego for the past three years before the most of my life I grew up in Korea. Living in a tiger family where doing your best meant the best result, I developed this mentality of thinking that a good result was worth devoting all my time to. But I started to question, was I the only one who felt this way about time? So, I made this film to find out what other kids in my age thought about the way they spend their time. Hi, my name is Tom Anderson. Anna Moore. Emily Wynn. Jesse Webster. Okay, I'm Michael Armstrong. I'm 17 years old. 17 years old and I go to Bishop. The Bishop School. The Bishop School in La Jolla. And a rising senior. I play water polo. I'm a swimmer. I play the trombone. So I just opened up this summer. It's a small shop that I have. And I do a lot of community service. Uh, I started in third grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade, I think. And I was 10. It's been a big part of my life for <laughs> for about, I think, 10 years now. Nine years. But it's definitely the biggest, one of the biggest time committing sports there is. I have a high co time commitment to my team. So I'm trying really, really hard to practice eight hours a day. Anywhere from four to six hours a day. Several, several hours a week. I look at my day and I say, okay, from this time to this time, I'm gonna do this, and from this time to this time, and I have to schedule my whole day. All I need to do is put in my time. It doesn't, oh, I don't always get there. It's definitely hard to, like, stay positive about the time commitment. It might be, you know, a lot of effort, a lot of grueling, you know, really difficult you know, stuff I'm doing, but, you know, later, I look back and I'm like, I was proud that I did that, and that makes me happy. I'd say the happiest times of my life has been when hard work has paid off. Actually with the business, you know, some people are like, you know, maybe I'll do business when I'm older and, you know, I get my degrees and whatever, but why can't you just start it now? Let's say if I was, you know, doing something else, like, I don't know, going on a roller coaster, I would be happy in the moment, but later I wouldn't remember the happiness. You know, going to Olympic trials was one of the best eye-opening and humbling experiences in my life because, and happiest times of my life because, you know, you walk into Olympic trials and you're, you're signing autographs and you're the big shot, you know, everyone's there to watch you and you walk out and there's 20,000 people there to, just to watch you swim. And uh, you feel like, uh, you look out in the crowd and you know that people out there have worked hard, but you know, they're, not, they're not where you are and you're, and you're, you're, on, top of, you're on top of swimming and you're at the biggest meet in the entire nation. And uh, that's only been the happiest one in my life because you know, they, they have things that Olympic trials that you can reward yourself after. And I think Olympic trials is the biggest rewarding experience um, in terms of um, they have jacuzzis and uh, massages. I think just kids nowadays are just like trying to do so much. So much of my life is dictated by trying to get good at music. Isaac Newton, he was studying physics. He never took a break. That little piece of fear in the back of my mind. Knowing that uh, you don't have much time to have free time every day. There's so, so many other people that do, you know, a lot more than I do. Maybe a lot of people do do as much as I do. Every moment I'm not practicing music, there's someone out there that is. Being able to compete with people who have more time to uh, swim than you do. The year before, there'd been a girl who came through who was like really good. So she could basically just run the show. Someone else is dedicating their time to this, you know? So if you want to be just as good, if not better than them, um, then you got to dedicate your time to it too. I guess like the comparison of seeing someone so so dedicated, such a clear mindset of this is what he's going to do with his life versus kind of me trying to do everything. Oh boy. Uh, um. Um. <laughs> waste time. Waste time. Yeah. Waste time. Of course, you know, we all waste time and something, you know. Of course I waste time. <laughs> Occasionally, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's hard to escape that. Yes, I definitely waste time. That's a part of life. I think it's impossible not to waste time. You know, doing other things that are more productive. Maybe internet sites follow YouTube. I go on there a lot. Online, like having a great time chatting with your buddies. It's funny, actually, a couple days ago, I was getting into a YouTube binge, you know, when you click on one YouTube video to the next one. And... What would you consider wasting time? A moment that I'm not doing anything productive is a moment wasted. Well, you're not being productive, and it's not really beneficial to you in any way. But I guess it, it depends on how you want to live your life. If you want it to be kind of like a really fun experience, kind of more like laid back, not, you know, having a good time with good friends. That is one way to go and you can enjoy that. But then also there's, you know, the other side of that where it's, you know, be productive, you know, make something out of your life, affect others, change the world, kind of take on it. 
Wasting time for me is when I'm in a situation and I think to myself, I'm bored. I wish I were doing something else. I'm just sitting there not enjoying what I'm doing. I consider that wasted. You shouldn't work hard 24-7. That's just not using you know, your time productively. I, I want to enjoy what I have and I don't want to be stressed all the time. Okay, I do need a mental break and I don't think I don't think that is a waste of time. In order to be productive, you gotta like let yourself waste time some way or another. If you have your priorities right and you stick to your priorities, then uh, I say that you, you can't waste time. I always strive to have balance in my life. So for me, productive can be you know studying a history topic or a math equation, but it could also be building a relationship with someone. So like talking to a friend can be productive in my mind. We don't have much time, so if you want to do something, then why not start it now? I'd say hard work is going to get you the most happiness in life. I think it's really important to just, you know, do what you want now. Each day is only 24 hours. Mm -hmm.